Well, good afternoon. My name's Henry Webb. I'm superintendent of the King County School System, and I get the honor and privilege of representing our 14,000 plus kids and our 2,000 plus wonderful staff every single day. Um, and I'm very excited to have all of you here with us today to celebrate the opening of our new King County Aquatic Center. So thank you for being here. Give yourselves a round of applause for being here. Thank you all. I get the privilege of introducing some special guests with us today, and I am sure I will leave somebody out, but please know that we know that today is possible because of the work of countless people, countless swimmers, countless families over many, many years, 50 plus years, that has made our program what it is today. So thank you to everybody that's been involved with making today happen. But today I want to recognize we have with us three members of our world-class board team, we have our board chair, Ms. Jessica Jean. We have our vice chair, Ms. Karen Collins. And we also have board member Shannon Harold. At this time, I would also like to recognize um, a former board member uh, who's not with us, but um, you may know him as Mr. Taylor Mill. Uh, Joe Bishop was one of our former board members who was instrumental in getting the first natatorium here for Kenton County's school district and our kids. And today, it's my understanding that Joe's wife Nancy and his daughters Jane and Susan are with us to celebrate this day. So can we welcome them? Uh, we also have with us, I know I've seen one, uh, but I think we have two of our former superintendents. I know Dr. Cook's with us. Yes, and I see Tim back there with his hand up. <laughs> Both of these former superintendents are still great ambassadors for our King County School District and for our kids. Um, we are very fortunate to have several of our elected legislators with us today. Uh, we have Senator McDaniels with us. I saw him. Over here he is, yes. Thank you for being with us. And we have three of our state representatives with us, Ms. Kim Banta, Stephanie Dietz, and Steve Doan. We are truly blessed in our region to have amazing legislators. Thank you all for what you do. Um, also, we have many members of our cabinet and school staff here with us, so could we welcome them? Thank you all for what you do. And we have some amazing swim coaches that are current swim coaches that are here. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> to you and your staffs, thank you. And we also have former swim directors, swim coaches, people that's helped build uh, the foundation for why we're here today. So can you please welcome them and give them all a round of applause? Um, it's my understanding our architects are represented by uh, Miss Emma Atkinson. Is she here with us today? Yes, I see them back here. Can we give them a round of applause? I think they designed a pretty nice facility. And uh, lastly, uh, the recognition of the individual and his company that built this pool, this aquatic center for our kids in our region um, from Morrell Construction, Adolph Zell. So today is truly a very special day. It's special for our community, our region, our, uh, our district, uh, our kids, and it's been made possible by a lot of people. And we definitely want to make sure we say thank you to some individuals and some groups of people today. But I thought it would be best if they heard that from the people that matter most, our kids. So at this time, I'm going to have our kids come up and share uh, some thoughts with some specific individuals and or groups. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. I am Lainey Epperson, a proud senior student at Scott High School, and I'm honored to address you all today on the occasion of the ribbon cutting ceremony of this world-class aquatics facility. 
Today, we come together to celebrate the visionary leadership and commitment to world-class facilities. None of this would have been possible without the Kent County board members, and our school board members are dedicated to making decisions based on what is best for kids. They support all of Team Kenton, and we are so grateful to their leadership. Please join me in thanking our world-class board members. Hello, my name is Peyton Mullen, and I am a senior swimmer at Simon Kenton High School. I would like to thank everyone for being here today. Your passion and commitment to the education of our students in not only Kenton County, but the entire state of Kentucky is greatly valued. To the legislators, thank you for matching the district's third nickel that enabled the district to expedite the construction of our aquatic center. This will give us a chance to host the district and regional meets in our home facility. Finally, thank you for continuing to invest in the children of Kentucky, our region, and Kenton County. Your leadership is deeply appreciated. Please join me as we thank our legislators. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Dahlia Kissel and I'm a junior on the Dixie Heights High School swim team. This is my fifth year swimming for Dixie. My mother, aunt, and uncle swam on the Scott High School swim team for six years in the late 1990s. This aquatic center has had a profound impact on my family for generations. This amazing new aquatic center will also have a lasting impact on many future generations, I'm sure. I would like to thank Rob Haney and the support operations team for their visionary leadership and efforts to make our new aquatic center a reality. This facility for students and the student athletes does not happen without your leadership. I am looking very th forward to swim in this pool for the remaining years of my high school career. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christina Gauchian and I'm a senior swimmer at Scott High School. This aquatic center is very exciting for my team, but also benefits our whole region. This facility will, pro will provide a space for recreation and fitness and improve the health and quality of life for the people in our community. It will offer a space where families can come together to enjoy quality time and where young athletes can train and compete. In addition, we will be able to host swim and dive meets for teams all across the state, which will boost our local and regional economy. This is not just an investment in a pool. It's an investment in our economic future and a symbol of wellness, progress, and community. My teammates and I have been looking forward to this moment our entire high school careers. And now that it is complete, it is a true privilege. Thank you to everyone who made this possible. Your commitment to our community and its prosperity is deeply appreciated. At this time, I would like to ask our board chair, Ms. Jessica Jean, to please come forward and share a few words with us. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Kitten County Board of Education, I would like to welcome you to this exciting event. This has been a long time coming, and the board is grateful that you are here today to celebrate with us the opening of the Kitten County Aquatic District, I'm sorry, the Kitten County School District Aquatic Center. One of the core beliefs of the Kitten County School District is that students, educators, staff, families, businesses, and the community share in the responsibility for creating an environment in which all students can learn and succeed at high levels. We believe that having updated facilities is part of that responsibility. Having attended many swim and dive meets over the past few years at multiple facilities, I can tell you that this facility is top tier and will be utilized constantly, not only by our 100 plus swim and dive athletes in Kitten County, but also the 500 plus swim and dive athletes in our region. Community groups from around the region will also utilize our new aquatic center, including the Special Olympic Swim Team, JROTC, Boy Scouts, Boone County Water Rescue, and others. Even the youngest members of our community can benefit through swim lessons and learning water safety. From planning to completion, there have been numerous people involved in this process. I'd like to thank our central office staff, our administrators, our educators, our maintenance staff, athletic directors, and coaches for their contributions to this project and their patience and flexibility as we work to complete this beautiful space for our students. To our families, 
our legislators, and our community, we thank you for your support. And most importantly, to our students. We are thrilled to be able to provide with this, to provide you with this aquatic center. And we are excited for all of the meets, events, and learning that will take place here. Students, you are the reason that we do what we do and why we are here today. And we look forward to celebrating many successes with you in this building. Thank you. And at this time, I'd like to invite Senator McDaniel to come forward and share a few words with us. Thank you all so very much for the opportunity today. Dr. Webb, thank you. Dr. Rust, Mr. Fisk, Mr. Haney, Mr. Zell, and most importantly to my swim coach, Susie Litton, who's there in the front row. Thank you for all that you guys have done on so many levels through the years. I'm so honored to be here. Um, and like many of you, I've spent a lot of time in the old facility, uh, be it my time with the Clippers, uh, my girls at Latin School, countless meets through the years. Um, I had a lot of time on those old metal bleachers, and uh, I won't miss one bit of it. So, um, you know, for old time's sake, I really thought that it would be appropriate if I wore my old Speedo today. <laughs> But I thought that Mr. Fisk would get too many complaints, and unfortunately, he still does have some of those old, awkward swim team pictures uh, that I don't want published. Um, Dr. Webb, you'll remember, when we talked about this at first, I said you can't do a swimming pool unless we get rid of all those modulars in this district. And you did, and thank you so much for that. Uh, academics always have to come first, and uh, Dr. Webb certainly prioritized those in his overall facilities plan, and we do appreciate it. Um, but regardless of that fact, um, the fact also remains that being a complete person is more than just about academics. In an age where there's far too many electronic distractions that focus on individualism and mind-numbing pandering, athletics returns the human spirit to the ideals based on hard work, sacrifice, teamwork, and even suffering. A pool is a wonderful feature, but for the athlete, it can be a relentless taskmaster that demands your all on every single lap. To the citizens of this county, thank you so much for your support of these kids. To the Kenton County Schools and to the region at large, congratulations on a new facility. And to all of you athletes who will use this, know that the citizens of this county have paid a price for you to have this amazing asset. And it's up to you to honor their sacrifice with sacrifice of your own in order to become the best person that you can possibly be. Thank you all very much. At this time, I want to extend a very special thank you to a few more people. When, you, when we conclude, we're going to go upstairs and the kids, our athletes are going to go in and we're going to all watch them all jump in the pool for the first time. It's going to be exciting. But one of the things you're going to notice when we go upstairs is over on the wall, there's some records boards. And there were some people who made those happen. Um, at this time, I would like to say a very special thank you to Wayne and Liz and Lynn Isaacs for their generous donations to help pay for and pay for all of the records boards for our student athletes. Will you please join me in thanking Wayne and Lynn Isaacs. There was a committee that went to work and designed these beautiful boards and just real quick I know some of the members are here with us if I miss any of you all I'm sorry uh, but I know Dr. Cook was instrumental in that work, Jerry and Vanetta Moore, Bill Sherrard, Julie Myers, Allison Hager, are you all with us? Yes, thank you all for your efforts. The committee done a lot of work, put in a lot of volunteer hours to make these boards happen. So thank you. I know many of you all have uh, spent countless hours making today happen. Um, but I want to thank Sandy Arnold. Uh, Sandy has been instrumental uh, in the project. She's been putting stuff out on social media, keeping everybody excited. She's been with our program for a long time. She's our coordinator. And her enthusiasm through this entire process and flexibility was frankly inspirational. Sandy, thank you. And the same to our swim coaches and our students that's been practicing everywhere. I was told today they practiced outside yesterday. <laughs> so just once again, your, your commitment to what you do, thank you. But I can tell you today, officially, you will never have to practice outside again.